Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to integrate a cosecant x with respect to x. In this video, we are going to apply the integration by pass. Let's recall the formula. We have integrate u dv is equal to u v minus integrate v du. We can let u be equal to cosecant inverse x and integrate dv is equal to integrate dx when we differentiate u with respect to x we obtain negative 1 over x times square root of x squared minus 1 which means that du is equal to negative dx over x times square root of x squared minus 1. When we integrate dv, integrate differentiate cancel each other, left v. And so for the right hand side, left x. So which means that the integral is equal to u, which is cosecant inverse x times v x minus integrate v x times negative dx over x times square root of x squared minus 1 and we should have x times cosecant inverse x negative negative positive x cancel with x no more so we have integrate 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 dx to integrate the second term we can apply integration by substitution we can let x be equal to secant y differentiate x with respect to y we obtain tangent y secant y apply the trigonometric identity we have tangent square y plus 1 is equal to secant square y which means that tangent square y is equal to secant square y minus 1 and hence we have tangent y is equal to square root of secant square y minus 1 and secant is equal to x which means that secant x is equal to x squared and we have minus 1 let's replace we have square root of x squared minus 1 times secant y let's rewrite the equation we should have the x bring the x to the left and we should have 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 and this is equal to secant y times dy which means that we should integrate both sides with respect to the corresponding variable so which means that this is equal to ln tangent y plus secant y with the constant c and this is equal to ln since tangent y is equal to square root of x squared minus 1 and secant y is equal to x with the constant c and hence we have proof that the integration of cosecant inverse x dx is equal to x times cosecant inverse x plus ln square root of x squared minus 1 plus x with the constant c and hence with that okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you